So if you're a fan of football, you've been following the whole story about the European Super League. For those of you who don't really know what's going on, the biggest clubs in Europe, like Chelsea, Man United, Barcelona, Real Madrid, all decided that they wanted to create their own league, right? And so they would break away from their domestic leagues and create their own Super League. So of course, we all saw this coming, but when the when it actually came to fruition, everybody <laughs> hated it. You know, UEFA and FIFA went after them. Uh, the fans went after them. Everybody went after them. I also was against it. But the thing is, when I was looking at videos and reactions online, I came across Shaka Hip Hislop's uh, reaction to this. And he made a point which actually made me sit down and think. He said that when it came to the big clubs trying to break away and create their own league, UEFA and FIFA really showed their voice. They really said they were going to find these clubs that the players in these clubs would not even be able to represent their countries anymore. And they really, really insulted them and told them that this is not about money, it's about football. But he said when it comes to racism in the game, UEFA and FIFA are very, very slow to react and slow to respond and they don't even have a voice. And this is sad because we have players that insult other players on the field because of their race. And in the stadium, we have fans throwing bananas onto the field, making monkey sounds, you know, saying that it's cultural for them to be like that. And then when that happens, UEFA just, you know, goes into investigation mode and say, we're investigation, investigating the situation. And then they fine the club like $20,000 or $300,000, money that these guys sneeze every week. And, you know, they say, oh, racism is not good. Let's not do that. But when it comes to a league trying to break away, they are more aggressive about it. And that's sad. And we also go to the fans as well. Yes, the fans, you know, made their voices heard. And, you know, they stormed the, their clubs and they said, this is disgusting. This is bad. But when it comes to racism, the fans would just tweet saying racism is disgusting. This is bad. This is bad. But how do we hold people that are against other people accountable for this like why are we not going after the players that attack other players based on race i mean if two players come and hit each other on the field like a uh, clash and one is injured we know that that's a mistake because it's in the heat of the game one tackle the other and hurt them but when a player insults someone else based on their race on the pitch that is not a mistake that is something they feel that's something they grew up thinking was normal and so why are those people not like put under the knife? Why are they not in serious trouble? Why are the fans who, you know, insult players, make grown men sometimes cry, why are they not punished? Why do they just get fined, their clubs get fined, or they, you know, they ban them for a few, you know, a few games? Like people like that have to be held accountable. Even after the Super League has been abandoned, fans are still going and calling for the heads of the bosses of these clubs like people want the glazers out people want crunky out people are still attacking them but when it comes to race we just put out a tweet and say racism is bad who is going to be held accountable for this and how do we deal with this anyways this is an open dialogue don't hesitate to write below as i'm open to discuss this and by the way this is not usually what i talk about on my channel please go through the other videos to see what this channel is really about but if you find this interesting please share this with someone like this video if you don't like it press the like button twice and that will be a dislike but anyways thank you have a nice day bye